With so many time frames available at your disposable, you've always probably wondered, is there a good time frame to use? Is there a best time frame that I should use for trading? So today I'll explain to you my personal favorite time frame that I use, but I also will explain what are the recommended uh, time frames that a lot of the traders in the trading community use as well. So let's get started. So we'll start with looking at what are the common time frames available in trading. So we have the yearly, we have the monthly, we have the weekly, daily, hourly, minutes and seconds. And these are the common time frames that everyone is aware of and is it's available for everyone if you look at your trading charts. Now, what I've done here is I've actually summarized all the trading uh, patterns or the trading time frames in a table and I've got this for you. So I'll explain this briefly. So the investors and these are the long ultra long time investors that keep their money for five years to an infinite amount of time. They would probably use the yearly and monthly time frames. Now, if you're a position trader and like again, position trader is another form of a long term trader, they would generally use the yearly, monthly or the weekly time frame, depending on how long they want to keep it for. Now, if you're a trend trader, you would use the daily and the weekly time frame. If you're a swing trader, you would use also a daily and weekly. And now these are just styles of trading that you could use as well. Now, if you're a day trader, it's obvious that you use something less than a day and you would probably use the monthly, uh, sorry, the minutes or the hours or maybe even seconds, depending on how much of a frequency trader are you in a day. Now, if you're a scalper, you would prefer to use the seconds or the minute time frame. So that's just like a common uh, table that would explain all these different time frames for you. Now, the important pro tip that I wanted to share is always make your strategic decisions on a longer time frame and use the one step down to precision time your entry. So let me explain what that means. What it means to you is if you look at the daily time frame and that's your daily bread and butter, you will then look at the hourly time frames to make an entry. So you would look at the hourly time frame if when you're buying and you're selling. But to track the uh, the stocks, you would use the daily time frame. So if weekly time frames is what is your preferred approach, then you would use the daily time frame to buy and sell your stocks. So that's just a simple rule of thumb, and this is something that all the traders or the professional traders generally use to make their stock decisions uh, when they buy and sell their stocks. Now, I want to share with you the best time frame. So this is why you've come to this video for. So the best time frames uh, with which a lot of these professional traders use. So when I say professional is anyone that's like managing huge hedge funds, anyone that has a lot of millions of dollars in their portfolio, the time frame that they prefer and also a lot of successful traders, the time frame that they prefer uh, from reading all the books and everything that I've gone through about these successful traders that really make a living trading is the weekly time frame. Now, it goes contrary to a lot of beliefs where people would feel like day trading and like using like short durations uh, of like in time to make a decision is preferred. But a lot of these successful like long term traders prefer using weekly time frames. Now, they would make their decisions to buy and sell on maybe looking at dailies uh, while deciding on what time in the day or which day to buy it at. But for analyzing their stocks, weekly is preferred as well. Now that also goes to be my preferred time frame as well. I do love looking at the weekly time frame and I avoid looking at anything below the daily time frame. Now I would I occasionally look at the four hour if I'm interested in what's happening in the day, but daily time frame would be where I would be interested in placing my buy and sell trades. Now, if you're a short term trader and a short term trader could be anything between uh, a day trader, meaning a few days, you're keeping your stocks for a few days to a week. And those type of traders, they prefer, and this is the industry preferred, would be the four hour or the daily time frame. Now, if you're a day trader and you just want to keep it in a day, the preferred industry standard is the 15 minutes or the five minute time frame. So you could pick either or. Now, the, the best part about all these best time frames that I'm telling you about is what you will notice is that if you follow these time frames, you'll see the market changing direction if it goes to a support or resistance level at these particular time frames that you see on your screen. So if it's touching a support resistance or if it's touching a moving average, 
and it is in line with these weekly time frames or the daily time frames that I'm mentioning to you, you will see the market change direction. And that's where it all makes sense to you on why we pick and why all the traders kind of pick one particular time frame rather than just selecting any random time frame for looking or analyzing the trading. So you look at the charts and you will actually realize what I'm talking about. And maybe I'll actually show you one so that you get a better picture of what this means. So overnight traders, just to continue where we left off, use or prefer 16 minute uh, time frames to analyze and make the decisions. Um, scalpers prefer two minutes, but there also are scalpers that go down to the seconds because they're high frequency traders and they just want to buy and sell and make a few uh, small portions of money, but high volume trades is what they use. So I'm going to show you an example so you get a picture of what I mean about these best time frames and how it makes sense it to apply it into a daily trade. So to explain my point to you, I just have the S&P 500 index. Now you could have any particular stock that you want, but this is just an example for you. Now, what I've done here is that I focused my attention on the weekly time frame. That's the W that you see. So it's one week is one candle that you see in your screen. Now, what makes this magic all work together is now I've just put in a few layers of moving averages in front of you. So you could see the blue line is the 200 period moving average. The purple line is the 50 period moving average and the yellow line is the 20 period moving average. So you don't have to worry about the moving averages right now. It's just that I'm trying to prove a point on how this all makes sense. So if you look at the uh, 50 period moving average line, you will notice that on the weekly time frame, the, the, the stock price will actually touch the 50 period moving average and bounce back, touch the 50 period moving average, bounce back. It again, touch the 50 period moving average, bounce back, touch the 50 period mo uh, moving average and bounce back. Now, another thing that it does is that it'll touch the 200 period moving average. So it touch it once, touch it twice, touch it thrice. And as you go further and further, you will notice that not every time it happens, but there are rare occasions that it may just like bounce out of it. But 99% of the time, it will actually respect these kind of lines. And the way it respects it is, Yes, it's a, it's a very important moving average, but it's also a very important time frame. So these two get meshed together and that's when a lot of the traders use these particular time frames. That's where you know, you'll see consistency and you'll see a lot of trends happening at certain levels in the market. So that's my that's my two cents for you. If you are trading uh, any particular time frames, do like try to respect or follow uh, the time frames that the other traders are following too, so that you will see consistently see in your trading as well. So I hope this explains this out to you. You could even look at it on the daily time frame, and as you can see, this is the daily time frame, and you'll see the. Uh, the 50 period moving average respecting these lines again so uh, on the daily time frame so you will see a lot of trends on these like you know good good uh time frames uh to make better decisions so you could look at the four hour time frame and you'll see also trends in in those spaces as well so i hope that explained that out to you so before i go i just want to share one more pro tip which will make your trading more successful so let me get so the chart that I have in front of me is Apple and I'm just using one of the common trading platforms to prove my point here, but you could use any trading platform just to kind of make this make sense to you. So what I have here is four different charts, but all represent the same stock and this is Apple. So on my top right, you see the four hour time frame, and this is the four hour time frame for Apple. And it's just like another representation of uh, a time period that Apple is trading in right now. Now on my left hand top, I have the daily time frame for Apple. And on my bottom right, I have bottom left, I have the weekly time frame for Apple. Now on my bottom right, I have the monthly time frame for Apple. So to explain what this all means and how I'm kind of meshing it all together, so on my daily time, uh, the four hour time frame on the top, uh, if I was to read this right now, it seems to be flat. Like Apple seems to be flat around the 200 period moving average. Don't worry about the moving averages right now. Uh, pay attention to the chart. So you can see like Apple's like flat on the four hour time frame. So if I was to tell you, I ask you, what what does the four hour time frame tell you about the chart? Like you would not be able to say, is this going up? Is this going down? Like what what's happening with Apple on the four hour time frame? 
So what I then do is I look at the daily time frame. So I'm coming on to my left hand top and I have the daily time frame in front of me. So the daily time frame is telling me right now, okay, Apple is in the daily time frame kind of declining and you can see like it's almost making a two, uh, a two day decline but it's about the 200 period moving average. So it's kind of, yeah, it, it is uh, declining on the daily time frame, but I still don't have a good picture. So what I then do is I then look at the weekly time frame and the weekly time frame tells me that yes, it's declining three weeks in a row, but the overall time frame or the overall trend is in the upper direction. So uh, Apple's moved in the upper direction for such a good amount of time but it's just like temporarily in, in a downward uh, trend on the weekly charts. And then I look to my down bottom right and I could look at the monthly time frame. And the monthly time frame tells me that Apple's in an uptrend and Apple's like, you know, just probably correcting itself right now, but it's heading in an uptrend. So as you can see, it gives me such a good perspective of all these different time frames to put together to make me more informed about making a decision. So my pro tip to you is if you would like to be a more successful trader is never trade a chart by itself. Always look at the nearest um, uh, like nearest time frame on the top or the bottom to really analyze and make a decision. So if weekly was my preferred time frame, so this is the weekly chart that I have in front of me. If weekly was my preferred time frame, I would buy and sell looking at the daily. So I would time my entry looking at the daily, but I would just analyze my trends looking at the weekly. So this is my go to chart. Now I will just still peek on the monthly, maybe once or twice a week, just to look at has anything changed? Has my opinion about the, about the stock, about Apple changed or is it still like in the same direction as we began my train as well? So, so this is hopefully this gives you a better perspective of like how you would kind of interconnect these charts together. You know, you could find this on any trading platform. You might have to look for it to really find which one gives you this. Uh, and if it doesn't give you this, you could just like, you know, switch between the different time frames on one chart itself. But get that perspective of like how these interrelate because that will help you become a more successful trader. So I hope this was helpful for you and will make you a more successful trader in the days to come. So if you like this video, do press the like and thumbs up button and do follow my channel to watch more such videos to make you a more informed and a better trader in the days to come. So thank you and hope to see you again in another video.